Shelly Dennis. In fact, that's the speech that we give on the floor. What do you do to you? Here's a word for you. Speckless. I want you to learn this as the eternal educator that I am. It means, in English, what we say in Chini as whatless. Speckless. I want the word to nestle down in your conscience. Speckless. Without ambition. Without motivation, external or internal, without honor, undependable, undesirable, feckless. I like what it's on at a cuff. A disturbing disrespect that is yet to be grasped by the indolent insolent receiving it who is presently absent. That's how words work with me. First, I like the way the word sounds to me, titillating my tongue, my salute, my lips as my teeth participate simply by presence, then, then by the meaning, settle, as I'm a reading fiend, I check dictionaries by three, castles, Oxford, and could see, could see life necessary. Yeah. <laughs> and only when the sound and the sense unite do I invite the word into my professional vocabulary, because what words mean to me is intricately inside is intricately tied to my ancestors' life as Christ bought right mm. to be free. Mm. See, mm. that right begins intellectually. So the family of words in my vocabulary are like the many multiple moles that cover my body. Some are inherited, handed down from my matrilineal hierarchies, and others surprise me. Mm. Like the six that form a V on my left hip that I found yesterday evening at the house, and the squares were there, but only recently. These words, these words that surprise me, I feel a special ownership of. A new step on the ladder. One that I built, lifting my family, my tree, my race of people up. Up through each following generations, renewed efforts through manipulated motivation to erect upon the caskets of our elders respect pedestals for our slowly developing, sometimes as an adult, pride. My race of people. That's our word may cause a cringe in some people, so I probably should deal with that word too. Yes, how many minutes are already? Are already too. Do I still have time for this? Alright, I better briefly handle this. My <laughs> idea of recognizing my idea of recognizing a racial distinction in no way forms a prevention of the appreciation of other racial peoples. I have other racial peoples in me, obviously, and I'm satisfied in the beauty I see in other races around me. Respect to my Indian and Chinese beauty. <laughs> but my words are intellectually building stones in the museum that will tell my her story. Must reflect my racial ancestry. Because that is technically three quarters me and one eighth of my baby as my baby's daddy who is tied by the golden man and his left hand to this Afrocentric family is as black as my biological daddy. Uh. And the words in the mouth of our offspring bring the future emphatically into focus. Her words reveal us. So we don't cuss and carry, no dress, no ideas that don't develop us, only positive words that propel her further into the future. So my word family, living with my family, what your words do to you? What your words say about you. Your cuss because you don't have words like feckless to use. <laughs> That's it. Your cuss because you don't have words like feckless to use that kill without drawing blood, wound without the victim realizing it. Do your words reflect a conscientious mind delving into great words wrote before That's from right. folks like mm -hmm. Confucius to Walcott, mm -hmm. Gonzalez to Aldwin Roberts? Yes, mm -hmm. Kitchi is still good for me musically and philosophically. Mm -hmm. Do your words reflect the prophecy of Ella, the prayers of Sandra, or the drive of the sometimes cocology of Nightfall? Oh, there's another one. But I do have time to teach all, so please, <laughs> my people, in partnership or out of it. Read. Read. Read so you don't cuss. That's right. You have enough verbal argument to defend the integrity and that of anybody you saw this move to. Read. So when you speak, fecal matter doesn't drip from your tongue, getting some sort of like nauseous. Read and get words into your psyche, words into your family, words into your vast vocabulary. Be the surprising word. Surprise me, please. <laughs>